Hello and welcome. It is 2020. God, I'm sure that used to be a drink I used to have when I was younger. <laughs> um, how things change, eh? How things change. It is, um, it's weird. It's kind of like, because you kind of think 20 years ago was like the 80s and it's, it's like now 40 years ago. Oh God. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, so what, what is this about? This is about my year coming, basically. And this part of it is keep thinking, oh, I can never top this year because, like, sorry, last year. <laughs> because last year was just amazing. So how can I be topped? Um, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I am going to try. So weight-wise obviously that is definitely can be improved uh last year i basically went up and down a stone so i'd gained a stone by the march and pretty much lost it by the december um and i want that to improve in terms of my losses i really would like to hit at least the pound a week i mean i'm not looking for more than that but i i, I really would like to hit the pound a week so i'm gonna make sure I'm meal planning more and, and cook more um, in order to help have more fruit and veg because that's something I always seem to fail on so that's another thing that I want to improve um, and I have got like one mini goal which is to get to 20 stone loss so that would be like my first mini goal I only set them each time I don't I'm not going to have so many each year and I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself but I want to get at the end of the, the year having lost weight um, but not weight that I've gained <laughs> again if you know what I mean <laughs> so yes that is the plan for the weight side of things um, and also as I said eat more fruit and veg I'm really good with water um, and and obviously i want to cook more so i want to try and cook at least monthly with the hope to do it fortnightly um so yeah that's that plan um going out obviously i've, I've been to loads of places and there's a lot of places that i still won't be able to get to with the wheelchair because i can't transfer uh into a car then that sort of limits the distance that I can go um, but I would like to go back to the beach but probably like I'm gonna go to Seaburn this time I went to Roca which is the nearest beach to me however it is down a bank so I could only sort of look at it from up the top if you know what I mean um, but this time if I go a bit further on the coast and go to Seaburn I should be able to get nearer the beach itself um, and also there's a Morrison's down there and there's amusements down there and you know so could, and, and because I can do about four hours sitting now then there's more that I can I'll be able to do uh, the longer I'll be able to stay type of thing because even if it took I don't know three quarters of an hour each way to get there um, and that's like what an hour and a half total I still should manage to spend at least a couple of hours down there so that that's um, another thing that I want to do I'm also looking into and I was looking at the cinema and they all state that they are disabled to have disabled access so I want to have a talk with my daughter because I know she's been there and ask her what it's like inside um, I'd really like to go to the, the, the cinema because like I said because I can do the sitting for about four hours or so then maybe I could get into the cin cinema so yeah and watch a film as we see over here <laughs> um, again going back into the town is another thing that I want to do um, but this time having a much better look around going to home bargains is one of the shops I haven't been into I don't think any of the charity shops are suitable for my wheelchair and the access that I need so I don't think that's going to be an option but you never know and I will have a much better look around this time and 
um, and and you know hopefully do it a few times. Um, obviously, seeing my mum and dad more and and all the things that I've already done, I'm going to continue to do. Um, and maybe hopefully come up with some other ideas of places I could go. Um, and yeah, and just keep improving and keep building up my sitting tolerance a bit further and things like that to so just like continue on all of what I've done and continue to do. Um, the other thing is to write and read more. Um, I did improve that this year I'll only just on the reading because I've read one book all year which to be honest was an improvement of the year before because I've read none and I've started another book so that's definitely a, an improvement um, the writing I've wrote quite a lot of poems and things this year still haven't focused on doing um, more into the book side of thing which is what I want to do I have like done starts of them but not carried them on so that's really something I need to focus better on and I want to have at least you know more of that down of at least one story rather than sort of half a dozen bits of stories and and loads of other ideas I would like to have something more solid of one story um, and then other than that, I think it's just to continue to fight forward, continue to be positive and see the positive in things that sometimes I've struggled to in the past. Um, keep raising money because I've, I've done that uh, the past couple of years with uh, dog and cat charities and um, I've helped the Bradley Lowry Foundation and Dementia and I want to continue doing that and so I'm going to do it with the quiz that I've that I've been doing um, so at the end of the year next year I'm going to do a just give in and see if I can raise even if it was like £25 for, for a charity um, I'll also donate within the quiz so every time someone gets um, five uh, wins um, category wins or round wins they'll I'll donate five pound to a charity on their behalf um, and hopefully raise a bit more money um, in the longer term I'd really like to do something more especially if I could do something around walking I guess if I if if that does become a possibility it would be great to do something for charity around that because obviously it's something that I've struggled with so for so long so but obviously that's in the future so I'll shut up because this is for 2020 <laughs> and I'm going ahead of myself <laughs> um, and yeah hopefully just help others maybe um, I've, I've spoken to a couple of health professionals who have spoken to me with regards to the things I've gone through not like with the weight and anxiety and all that in sort of how they could help others in the same situation and that is something that I'm really um, I really want to do because I just think that you know how like how I feel now compared to how I felt then and if I could give someone um, the realization that things can change because I never believed they could or would and they have and so I, I, I'd really like to do that and even if in this platform that it helps someone in some way and that would just be amazing and obviously I'm going to continue to do this um, I've decided to try and aim for like the quiz one quiz like the quiz a week which is live and then one other video um, per week in some form or description um, and yeah I think that's pretty much everything and I'm really positive and you know determined I have now got a date for it to be weird which is the 5th of February so um, hopefully whatever I have gained <laughs> over the Christmas period which I've enjoyed you know um, that by the time I 
I get to the 5th of February, all that's gone and hopefully even a few pound extra if possible. But if not, you know, hopefully there's, there's no, there, I don't start my first way in with again because I have got the, the time to, to fix that. Um, which starts, um, well, to you it's today, but to me yeah, right now it's the 31st, so it's Christmas, Christmas Eve, it's not Christmas Eve, it's New Year's Eve. Um, but unfortunately I won't be enjoying that <laughs> because I'll just be on water because my stomach's a bit off today. So, but never mind, you know, I've enjoyed it the last couple of weeks. Of it. It's been a lovely end to the year type of thing and, you know, like I said, it's been a phenomenal year and I really hope 20, if 2020 is half as good, it's, it's going to be amazing. So, and yeah, um, I wish you all a happy new year again and I will speak to you soon. Um, oh, please like and subscribe <laughs> if you don't already, obviously, because then you would, yeah, bollocks. Shut up, Lenny.